standing in the first location of the British Embassy in Riga following the restoration of Latvian independence in 1991. And set up location here in what is now the Grand Hotel Kempinski. Um, I suspect it looked a little bit different in 1991 uh, when the hotel was Hotel Riga. It was, I'm told, largely a, a kind of un unmodernized Soviet era hotel, apart from one floor which had been uh, renovated and was being managed by the Hotel Eurolink. And, and that, uh, that's the location which was on the third floor of the building where the embassy was set up. Kļuva ļoti ātri nedarīgas, jo mainījās ne tikai ielu nosaukumi, bet arī iestāžu nosaukumi. Mēs uz kartes atzīmējām, kur viņš var aizvest vēstnieku, kur ir pārējās starptautiskās iestādes vai vēstniecības vai ministrijas, jo nebija WhatsApp, nebija veiza, nebija Google, nebija nekā. Mēs visu, mēs visu sākām tiešām pilnīgi no nulles. par vairākām nodaļām vēstniecībā, un tad arī vēstniecības telps tika pārceltas uz laiku. So in 1992, we began to rent office space in the World Trade Center on Elizabeth Street. Um, but the diplomatic staff continued to uh, live in the hotel behind us. Uh, so this walk across the Baste Karns became a daily routine. The larger premises allowed the uh, embassy to establish visa and trade sections. Uh, the embassy office was located on the third floor of the building behind me. The corridor Kurtika izveidots vēstniecības telpas, tur tik pilnībā saglabāts padomju interiērs ar padomju mēbelēm. 93. gadā pēc vēstnieku diplomātiskās rotācijas principiem pirmais vēstnieks atstāja Latviju. Pie mums ieradās otrais Lielbritānijas vēstnieks Latvijā, Richard Rafa kungs, un viņš atbrauca uz Latviju ar Harley Davidson. Tajā laikā jau bija tādas modernas tehnoloģijas kā faksamels un faks, saņemot um, faks ziņu, ka vēstnieks ieradīsies Latvijā tad un tad ar Harley Davidson. Mēs domājam, ka tas ir joks, tas nebija joks, viņš patiešām atbrauca uz Latviju ar Harley Davidson. Building behind me on Alunana Street, a 19th century merchant house of neoclassical design, uh, was purchased by the British of Office of Public Works in 1930 for the then princely sum of £8,000 to house the British legation to Latvia. Uh, during the period of Soviet occupation, uh, it was home to the Council of People's Deputies of the Kirov region. Uh, but it was restored to us uh, following the restoration of Latvian independence. 1995. gadā šo ēku jau pēc kapitālā remonta atremontētu atklāja toreizējais valsts prezidents Gunds Sulmanis un oficiālā valsts vizītē ieradās arī viņa karaliskā augstība Prince Charles. Shortly after the commemoration ceremony, a Latvian citizen came to us and handed us a plaque, a plaque denoting the chancery of the original British legation, and he kept that safe from the time of the departure of the last British diplomat to Latvia in 1940 until that very day. And the plaque hangs proudly in the reception of our, of our fine embassy.